Hi guys, Heather Valentine here. So today I am super excited. This is the biggest delivery I've had all year. And today the past meets the present. I am delivering a Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4. So I'm super excited today to talk you through the spec of this stunning one of 112 in the world Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4. So this is a very VIP client that took delivery of the car. Um, we've had quite a history and we've gotten to know each other over the years. So I was so excited and honored to be a part of his spec when it came to the Countach. And he actually chose to fly to Italy to do the initial spec, which was really a great experience for him. And the factory came up with an amazing start. Like they had a great template going. And then he chose to do a Zoom at the time I was visiting family in Arkansas with myself and the GM and we got on Zoom and we tweaked the spec per se. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the choice in paint. I'm sure a lot of the Countach around the world are going to be red or white. Um, I've seen a few other colors, but this is the only one I've seen to date in blue Nethens. And I believe it is the only one out of 112. So that's a really exciting thing. And blue Nethens has been one of my favorite blues in the Lamborghini paint lineup for years. I absolutely love it. And in the sun, it's amazing because it gives you different depths it just, it looks amazing on the lines of the car and it changes depending on what light you're in. So I really absolutely love that he chose to do blue Nethens for the exterior paint. Another choice that he had made before, you know, tweaking the spec with me was the gold wheels and the black center lock. Now again, I love this choice, especially in contrast to the blue Nethens. I definitely was tired of black wheels, so I'm really glad that he did something unique and different. But something that was initially there was a lot of aluminum and titanium accents. And when I saw the spec on Zoom, I thought, wow, it would be so cool if the factory would agree to make like the gas cap, the accent of the mirrors, the actual writing of Countach in gold and it would really tie it in with the wheels. So that was a request that we made on the Zoom call that day. And as you can see with the finished product now, they agreed to do it. And I love, love, love it, guys. Like it just, it takes it to that next level. I love the design, obviously it's beautiful. I love the way the roof and the glass extends down. I mean, I think they did an amazing job with keeping the heritage of the original Countach, but bringing it to the present. Like this is definitely a car that is gonna be stunning on the road. And you know, it's something that the driver can actually enjoy though. It's very comfortable, it's modern. He has all of the updated latest tech, which is great. So I think they did an amazing job. And let's take a look at the interior. The client chose to do a white interior. And initially it was Bianca Polar, which is more of an ivory. But after looking at it, we decided to go with a very bright white, which is very retro, but I think it works beautifully. And again, when he had spec with the factory, he had a full black steering wheel and no gold on the interior. It was only the white and the black in contrast. So when I saw it, I thought, wow, it would really be cool if we could tie in a little bit of the gold from the exterior. Like not taking it tacky, keep it classy, but just give it that bit of flair that you want and make it really unique. 
So a couple of things that were suggested was, you know, we talked about doing the start flap in gold, which we ended up choosing, you know, Oro Elios. It's, you know, a classic gold that I've done for years on Lamborghinis and we really love the look of it. But then taking it just a little bit further with a gold stitching and also a gold piping. You'll see the headrest were done in gold, yet the stitching of the seat remained narrow, and I think that was a great choice. However, I think it was Zach on the call suggested maybe doing the cross stitching in gold, and I love the way that turned out. You'll see the embroidered kuntash on the side of the tunnel is also in gold, and if you look up to the roof, you'll see there's piping in gold, and you know, it just has just enough gold stitching and piping. I think it absolutely looks stunning and it just gives it that little bit of flair that it was lacking before. Now the steering wheel was a debate. Um, the client initially had a full black steering wheel and I suggested, I said I just feel like it needs a little bit more and we tried splitting it. So um, we decided to do the white on the top and the bottom so that the portion where your hands go is not white because obviously that would tarnish quite quickly, the oils in your hands could turn it dark. So I think we ended up with the perfect split here and we added the additional stitching inside you'll see on the steering wheel of that gold as well. So all in all, I really love how clean it is. It's a gentleman's spec, but it still has that flair that you want when you're buying a very unique custom Lamborghini. And while we're talking about the interior, you'll notice that we even took it to the smallest detail of the plate that actually says one of 112. We requested that even that would be in gold rather than titanium. So when you're specking these cars, guys, you can get down to the smallest detail with ad personam, which is really fun. So I couldn't be more proud of the spec. It was a collaborative effort between all of us and I really love the end result and I know the client does. He was overjoyed, his family loves it and we couldn't have sold it to a more deserving client. So it's just such a happy ending for everyone involved and I cannot wait to see this on the streets of Toronto. All right guys, I'm so glad the owner of this amazing car allowed me to share his beautiful, unique spec with you. I'm sitting in the car now. I'm gonna learn this infotainment and stay tuned for a follow-up video on what your Lamborghini salesperson should have told you when you took delivery of your Countach. But for now, as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan.